Palma. Gentlemen's recognized. I thank the gentlelady and I hope I don't take five minutes. Uh, I rise today in support of uh, Senate Bill 442, the NASA Transition Authorization Act of 2017. I've long been a supporter of our nation's space program. I've seen what we can accomplish when we put our best and brightest in a room together and give them the resources they need to solve tough scientific, engineering, and mathematical problems to better our society and our understanding of the solar system and beyond. The bill before us today ensures the hardworking people at NASA and the thousands of private aerospace workers in Colorado and across the country have a constancy of purpose and the backing of the Congress to continue advancing our quest to understand our planet and explore other celestial bodies. Mr. Speaker, I enjoy serving on the Science, Space, and Technology Committee. While we may not agree on every issue, when it comes to our space programs, we come together and find the best solutions to the problems we face, and this bill does exactly that. As my colleagues on this committee know, I am very passionate about getting our astronauts to the surface of Mars. This bill will require detailed plans from NASA on how to do that and, more importantly, on the timelines so that we can get to Mars through the development of a human exploration roadmap. In addition to this roadmap, Section 435 of the bill also requires NASA to report back on the feasibility of a human mission to Mars by the year 2033. Sixteen years from now, Earth and Mars will be aligned for what could be the most significant and inspirational journey in history. About 18 months ago, our committee heard testimony from former NASA leadership about our deep space exploration missions. I asked them to provide us a date. When can we get to Mars? As it turns out, the planet's orbit and alignment in 2033 is optimal. So, as my colleagues on the committee know, I prepared a bumper sticker, Mr. Speaker, just for you, showing 2033 is the time we're going to get our astronauts to Mars. I want to thank Chairman Smith, I want to thank my friend Mr. Babin and Ms. Johnson, as well as Dr. Barra for allowing me to work and to help uh, put Section 30, 435 into the bill. I know we can do this. It is a mission that all Americans will be proud of. They're so proud of our space program and the scientists and engineers at NASA, and this will give us a real goal and a real project to get our astronauts to Mars by 2033. And I, with that, I would yield back to the gentlelady. Ms. Johnson reserves, Mr. Babin.